Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get into that, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. The first headline I have for today, Western elites have a reality problem. If you read the article, he's really more talking about the media than he is Western elites in general. Um, but uh, basically, it's in the context of what happened with the debates and the exposure that Biden was uh, suffering from some cognitive deficits. And the media for quite some time now has been pounding the drum that any claim that Biden was suffering from deficits was misinformation or disinformation. But now they're scrambling to say, well, they must have hid it from us. Most people engage with reality pragmatically, not politically. We focus on solving the challenges of the day-to-day -day life functionally, not as an ideological construct. We don't make believe, we make do. We exist in a real world filled with actual challenges to be overcome, and we use our talents and willpower to make our lives better and achieve our personal dreams. Sometimes we need experts to study, media to report, and the government to address systemic problems we encounter increasingly. However, Western, uh, increasingly, however, Western intellectuals, senior business executives, government officials, and media thought leaders are divorced from the pragmatic reality in which make-do people live. I would consider myself a make-do person um, by the definition that he gave. Elites are increasingly ideological and inventive. They seem to believe that their role is to make us believe what they imagine about us and the world around us instead of helping us deal with the actual reality in which we live. Rather than making our lives better, elites are absorbed with making our us better instead. And then it goes on to list some of the things they want elites, they want, the elites want us to believe. That unregulated migration and open borders are not a problem. That police are bad and arresting criminals is white supremacy. That climate change threatens the very existence of human life on earth. That sexual identity is a cultural construct, but gender is indelible. Western culture is institutionally racist. And Hamas terrorists and their supporters in Gaza are the real victims, while the Israeli civilians they attacked, raped, and mutilated are inhumane. Yeah, that's some of the things they want us to believe for sure. And basically what they're saying to us, and this is particularly in the media, uh, who are you going to believe? Us or your lying eyes? <laughs> uh, this is another article along the same lines. The lies continue as a matter of principle. And I didn't highlight anything in this. It's a lengthy article, but you can read it. But basically, it talks about how the media is just they're just lying to us left and right. I mean, uh, let me just read you the first part here. Uh, Vox ran a piece by, of all people, Brian Stelter. Did the media botch the Biden age story? Read the headline, followed by a subhead, asleep at the wheel, complicit in a cover-up. The real story is far more complicated and more interesting. It's not complicated, and your did we really screw up think piece is by itself an insult. Audiences know the answer. Yes, you've been screwing up for five years. Also, it isn't a Biden age story, but a Biden dementia story. There are octogenarians who are competent to be president. Biden isn't one. Audience have known this since 2019, and the only people who you're impressing by saying otherwise are other media nitwits. And Lord knows the media is full of nitwits. <laughs> tons and tons of them. Oh. And then I go overseas for a couple of articles 
you know that there's been elections going on recently and the French vote, the leftists got the most seats over the far right. So uh, it didn't tur turn out the way that they were predicting it would. Uh, but they left parliament in a deadlock because no one can form a government apparently. A coalition of the French left won the most seats in high stakes legislative elections according to final results early Monday, beating back a far right surge from failing to win a majority, but failing to win a majority. The outcome left France facing the stunning prospect of a hung parliament and threatened political paralysis in a pillar of the U European Union and Olympic host country. Well, so, so France will be more like the United States, right? A useless legislature. Uh, I'm not sure there's anything wrong with that. Are you? Are you? I don't know. Uh, and then we go across the channel to Britain. And in Britain, the left won a landslide. Uh, says that uh, Labour has won the UK general election in a landslide. The new Prime Minister, Keir Starmer, pledged to steer the country towards calmer waters in his first address to the nation. Starmer is starting to form his cabinet, appointing the UK's first ever female Prime Minister or Finance Minister. Nigel Farage's populist reform UK party won its first seats and came second in many more, splitting the right wing vote and contributing to the Conservatives' losses. So the results of the elections, from what I can see, means that the left really hasn't lost as much power as they were predicting, and the right hasn't really taken over like they said they would. It's kind of a mixed bag, I guess you could say. So that's the news for today. You probably knew about the elections, especially if you live in Britain or France. Uh, but I thought I'd, I'd share them with you anyway, just because I thought it was interesting. So I pray for you that God will watch over you and keep you safe from harm in everything that you do for your entire life. And that there will never be a moment when you have to worry about what's going to happen next. I pray for the same thing for everybody that you love. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out.